And here we are. Home sweet home. Well, I suppose home is mildly putting it. The entire estate is practically the size of a warehouse. You can set your shoes and coat over there on that bench. You like how it's decorated? Thank you, sweetie. I may be nearing 40, but I'm still a goth girl at heart. <laughs> I even have a whole room dedicated to band memorabilia I've bought at auctions over the years. A whole bunch of unique guitars and costumes and whatnot. My own little alternative museum. But... We can visit that topic later. Is there anything you need? Food? Drink? There's a bathroom just to the right if you need it. You're good for now? Okay. Come here, sweetie. You look like you need a hug. Mmm. Your arms feel so nice on my body, sweetie. I've been craving for this kind of touch for some time. I hope me being a bit taller than you isn't intimidating. You find it comforting? Ah, <laughs> That's very sweet of you. I'll be sure to give you lots of hugs from now on. Speaking of which, I would like to make you an offer of sorts, sweetie. As I told you back at the bar, I've been separated from my ex-husband for a while, and almost all of the men I've sought out since then are put off by... Either my height, weight, age, or all three. So, meeting you at the bar seemed like a miracle to me. You've been so understanding and kind tonight, and I'm really grateful for that. So thank you. But from what you've told me tonight, it seems like you've been going through a very rough time in your life. That you've been feeling really lonely, and you're stuck working at a retail job that you really hate. I think you even mentioned you feel as if your life is going nowhere. Hearing you describe your situation, I can't help but want to support and care for you however I can. Sweetie, would you like to be my sugar baby? Yes, I am being quite serious, sweetie. I have no children or pets of my own, but I've always had a fondness for taking care of things. I definitely wouldn't mind spoiling my riches on a cute boy like you. I'll buy you anything you want and pay off any little pesky fees, subscriptions, or debts you have. If you wish, I'll also give you a weekly allowance so you can quit that awful job and stay at your place all day. I'll even spoil you in other ways, if you want. All I ask in return is that I get to have you. On one condition, you want to call me mommy? Well, I'm not your actual mother, so I don't really... Oh, I get what you're saying. <laughs> but of course, sweetie. Didn't I just say that I like to take care of things? I would love to be your mommy. Oh, it's okay, honey. Come here. 
There, there. Mommy is going to take very good care of you from now on. You're my good boy now, okay? As much as I would love to just stand here and hug you forever, I'd like to take this somewhere more cozy. Now, hold my hand, and we'll take the elevator to my room, okay? Now let's just step inside. The only thing missing right now is cheesy music to go along with the ride. <laughs> Being a billionaire luxury brand CEO doesn't cover everything, I guess. And my room is right through this doorway. <sighs> it's always nice to come back to my bedroom after a long day. But I'm not ready to go to sleep just yet. Come here on the bed and lay on my chest. Mommy wants to cuddle her good boy. There we go. All nice and snuggled up. You think my bed is comfy? Well, I'm glad to hear that. It's never failed to relax me when I need it. It was custom made at a very low price. How much? Um, I don't really remember. I think it was like a few hundred thousand or was it a million? I don't really remember. It was a small amount along those lines, though. But enough about my bed. Let's focus on you. What's that? You think my chest is comfy? Thanks, sweetie. I grew them myself. <laughs> But I am glad that I can bring you comfort this way. It's been a long time since I've cuddled someone. You have a question? What is it? What my last relationship was like? It... Pretty much just fell apart. In retrospect, our relationship seemed to start out pretty great. But sometime after we married, my ex-husband started to become extremely toxic. I think he was jealous of my success with the company and being known among his friends as the billionaire's husband without anything to really show for himself. Eventually, he became very hostile and would more or less try to bring me down whenever I had accomplished something really good business-wise. Then, once he started belittling me over my weight, that was the last straw. I finally separated from him, but it was a very emotional process, and I was in a dark place for weeks afterwards because of it. <clears throat> but enough about that for now. Tell me a bit more about you, sweetie. Like, how's your family? 
Your parents' 30th anniversary is coming soon? <laughs> That's wonderful. Do they have any celebration plans? They want to go out to a certain restaurant that's too expensive for them? Well, what's the name of it? Maybe I can help. That place? Oh, <laughs> I can remedy that. I'll arrange to have them eat there for free and get them the best seats there. How? <laughs> It just so happens that I'm the owner. Yes, I'm serious. In fact, I own dozens of restaurants and hotels throughout the metropolis. All of which have been great investments. I lost count after 90. If I didn't already own the place, I would have bought it just to make sure your parents could have the proper celebration that they deserve. Anyway... <sighs> it's getting pretty late, though. Would you like to stay here with me tonight? Good. I wasn't really planning on letting you leave yet, anyway. Here's what's going to happen, sweetie. I work during weekdays, so I'll arrange to have you come by and stay with me during weekends. On your end, I want you to quit that nasty job of yours, okay? I'll give you a big allowance for you to spend however you see fit. And tomorrow, I want you to give me your billing info so that I can cover any routine payments you need to make. I can feel you starting to nod off. It's okay. You can keep cuddling me. Now just close your eyes. Listen to my voice. You are safe. You are cared for. Mommy is going to handle everything from now on. Just rest for now. Everything will be okay. Oh, he's already asleep. <laughs> Sleep well, sweetie. I love you. Hey there, sweetie. It's good to see you. Come here. Mm. Oh, I miss you so much. I love holding your cute little body in my arms like this. I wish I could do it forever. What am I doing here? Well, it's Memorial Day today, so I don't have work. And you texted me saying you weren't feeling well, so... I wanted to surprise you. So... May I come in? Great. So this is your place? Looks pretty cozy. Are you liking the new couch and TV I had sent you? Mm, I'm really glad to hear that. It must be nice getting to watch your favorite movies and shows in 8K Ultra HD. Are you also liking the streaming services I got for you? That's good to hear. By the way, 
I've been looking for a good show to watch for some time. Do you have any recommendations? Invincible on Prime Video. And it's a superhero show? From the same guy who made The Walking Dead? Oh, that show was one of my favorites. I'm definitely adding that to my watch list. Maybe the two of us could binge it together sometime. Speaking of TV and couches, why don't we have a seat and catch up? Great. So tell me, sweetie, what's bothering you? I promised I would take care of you no matter what, so... You can be honest with me. Lay down in my lap? <laughs> of course, sweetie. Here, let me scooch over and... There you go. I just realized that my boobs are so big, I can barely see your face. Why don't you tell me how you're really feeling right now? I have to check in. Has anybody tried to hurt you since I last saw you? Insulted you? Anything of that nature? Good. I only ask because I'm very protective of what I care for, including my good boy. Do you mind if I stroke your hair, sweetie? Wow, your hair is so soft, baby. Mm. I think I know what's been troubling you. You just have a lot of pent-up emotions. Just building up inside you with nowhere else to go. I sometimes feel that way too. I know how difficult it can be to feel lonely. It's all right, though, now, sweetie. I'm right here with you. You can let it out. Mommy is here for you. I will always be here for you. You're safe with me. I'll always protect you. Mommy will always listen to you. Mommy will take care of you. And spoil you rotten. Because you're mommy's good boy. I... Um... I really need to tell you something, sweetie. I've been your sugar mommy for a few months now, and I really do enjoy it. I enjoy making you smile, whether it's with doing it or me spoiling you with my gifts and money. And you've been so good to me. Not just as a sugar baby, but as a friend. You've never once tried to make me feel bad or put me down. And every time you call me sexy or beautiful, I feel like a queen. You're thoughtful, understanding, and care for me as much as I do you. You've never judged me for my age or 
insulted my body or appearance. In fact, you respect my maturity and show love for my body every day. I do love being your mommy, but I feel more than that now. What I'm trying to say is, um, I, I love you. You, you love me too? <laughs> oh, sweetie, that makes me so happy. Here, sit up. Let me kiss you. Sweetie, are you sure about this? Being in a relationship with me? I mean, I am almost 20 years older than you, and... <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Your lips are so soft. Sweetie, since we're dating now, how would you feel about moving in with me? You will? That's amazing, sweetie. To tell you the truth, it's been so agonizing only getting to see you on the weekends. Now I get to spend as much time with you as possible. But make no mistake, I'm not gonna stop being your billionaire sugar mommy. I'm gonna continue spoiling the fuck out of you. <laughs> because you deserve it. You'll live like a prince. My little prince. But if you are going to live with me, there are some ground rules we need to discuss. 1. I don't allow anyone to touch my designated memorabilia, not even myself. I've made the mistake once of not having adequate security measures in place and almost had some valuables stolen. The perp was caught, but it was a close call. Second, unless I initiate the topic or have given you permission beforehand, I don't want to talk about my ex-husband. That is a chapter of my life that belongs in the past. Third, I expect you to be courteous to my staff. If you have a complaint or a grievance to make to them, you must do so respectfully. And if they themselves are disrespectful to you, you come to me. And the fourth and most important rule, if you cheat on me or disrespect me, I will break things off with you and take back everything I've given you without a second thought and never see you again. I know that you most likely won't do it, but I just want you to know I have zero tolerance for abuse of any kind. Not after what's happened to me before. Do you understand? Good boy. And another aspect to rule four, I don't ever want to hear you openly talk down on yourself. 
That means belittling yourself and openly calling yourself hurtful things. I know sometimes it's hard for you to feel good about yourself sometimes, but degrading yourself isn't good for you. And if I'm going to be a good mommy type girlfriend, I need to make sure my good boy feels good. So if you ever feel overwhelmed, sad, stressed, angry, or just outright miserable, please come to me, okay? I'll do everything I can to make you feel better. You can lay on my big, pillowy chest, take a nap on my thick thighs. We can cuddle together like we both love to do. Or we could even go a little further if need be. Do you understand me, baby? Good boy. We need to celebrate our new relationship in style, though. How does dinner in a movie sound? Good. Are there any kind of restaurants you'd like to go to? Well, I happen to own a hotel with the perfect Japanese restaurant in it. It even has a pool right in the dining area that we can swim in. How is that allowed? I mean, technically the pool is for decorative purposes only, but being the lenient owner I am, I'm sure I could overlook a rule or two for my good boy's sake. And I'm sure you wouldn't mind seeing this curvy woman in a bikini. It's also just a few minutes away from the IMAX theater. I hear there's a really good action movie playing there that we could watch. <laughs> no, sweetie. I don't own the theater. I actually don't need to since I have a great home theater set up at my mansion. It's got its own soda fountain and popcorn machine as well as a bathroom. I think that would actually be the perfect place for us to binge. What was that show called again? Invincible? Yeah, that would be a good show to watch on my big screen. If you want, I could even install gaming consoles in my home theater so that the two of us could play together. <clears throat> well, since it seems like we have a couple hours to kill before we should get ready for dinner, is there anything you'd like to do? Hmm? <clears throat> what was that? Come on, speak up for mommy. Oh, you want to do that? It's a good thing I may or may not have dressed up in some lingerie underneath this outfit for such an occasion. Mommy is always prepared to please her good boy. Let's go to your bedroom so I can show you just what I mean. Sweetie, are you in here? There you are. Good morning, sweetie. <sighs> but... What are you doing up so early? It's not time for us to get up yet. And you still need to recover from our Lord of the Rings marathon. Wait, you've got the oatmeal, bread, 
peanut butter. Are you trying to make my breakfast for me? Aw, sweetie. You really didn't need to do that. But I still very much appreciate that you would take the time to do this for me. Come here. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the reasons why I like hugging you so much is that I know you get flustered feeling my big boobs pressed against you like this. <laughs> oh, you even made my coffee how I like it. You really are my good boy. But what about you, sweetie? Have you had your breakfast yet? You haven't yet? Come now, sweetie. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I can't just have my good boy go hungry. Then I wouldn't be a very good sugar mommy girlfriend. Well, what would you like? I've got just about every cereal you can name in the pantry, if that's your thing. Or I could make you some pancakes, or waffles, or eggs. Or, if you're up for it, I own a couple good breakfast spots close by that we could eat out at, and... No? So you want me to cook for you? No to that, too. Sweetie, what's going on? You're not usually like this. I know it's been a bit of a challenge for you to adjust to me spoiling you 24-7, but this isn't like you. Look at me, sweetie. I promised when we first met that I would always be here for you and take care of you when you need it. So come on. Talk to me. Talk to mommy. You feel like you don't provide enough for me? I see. How about you let me get my coffee and we'll have a talk at the breakfast table? Now then, sweetie, do you remember about how I told you about how my marriage turned sour? Oh, that's right. I did tell you that I didn't like bringing him up, but I'll permit it for now because it's relevant to what I have to say to you. He started to become very jealous of my success with the company I led. He got tired of being informally known as the billionaire's husband. Eventually, he became very hostile and would more or less try to bring me down whenever I had accomplished something really good business-wise. Little things like, oh, it's not that big of an accomplishment, or it's not gonna last, honey. And I more or less brushed it off for a while. But then, when he realized that those kinds of comments didn't get to me, he'd try to go about shaming me for things like my weight or my alternative fashion style. That's when I realized that as long as I was thriving and happy, he was going to keep getting more bitter and emotionally abusive. So rather than let him continue to bring me down, I separated and divorced from him as quickly as possible. Though it was still a very emotional process. 
We'd been together since college, and he could be so sweet sometimes. So it was hard for me when our dynamic turned from sweet romance to a couple big shouting matches that left me a sobbing mess. That's part of the reason I refrained from putting myself out there for a while. I was afraid that whoever I got together with wouldn't want to live in my shadow. I... I blamed myself for what had happened. I thought I was going to have to suck it up and be alone. I'm telling you all of this because you did the complete opposite of what he did. You make me feel proud of what I do and who I am. When something good happens for my business and I'm excited to tell you, you're excited too even if you don't quite understand the nature of what exactly it is that I do. And the fact that you're trying to spoil me by making me breakfast when you could have just slept in like normal. Sweetie, let me make it clear to you. You don't ever have to worry about trying to pay me back. Having you in my life as my partner is more than good enough for me, okay? You are enough for mommy. I love you so much, my sweet boy. You have a question? What is it? What is it that I do exactly? Well, I'm the CEO and majority shareholder of a luxury brand conglomerate called Phoenix. I started out as the founder and owner of a fashion house also called Phoenix. Over the years, we just kept getting bigger and bigger, acquiring more brands, and getting into more industries over time. Now, it's not just fashion for us. We have a few different dozen subsidiaries under the Phoenix brand, and they each specialize in things like cosmetics, perfume, wine, hard liquor, watches, yachts, and we're thinking of getting into the cannabis industry where it's legal. If you've ever watched those hip-hop videos online where the rappers are showing off their chains and rings and stuff, chances are there's some Phoenix jewelry in there somewhere. Our most recent valuing was something like a few hundred billion? <laughs> and I'm worth over a hundred billion. <laughs> Are you really that surprised? Ah, because you haven't really heard of me before? That's my doing, actually. I keep out of the public eye as much as I can, and I have a manager to run all of my social media accounts. I've also never given a single interview to the media, nor have I ever had a Q&A for the general public. I've seen firsthand how the celebrity and influencer lifestyle can really wear down and sometimes just straight up destroy people. 
I'm also just not very entertaining. My work is basically just meeting after meeting and occasionally visiting Phoenix stores as a matter of quality control. It's still my company for now. And yeah, I don't plan on being CEO for the rest of my life, so I plan on taking a step back someday in the future and settling down, hopefully with you. <laughs> Sounds like someone's a little hungry. <laughs> so, what would you like me to make you for breakfast, honey? Or would you like to go out? I did say that I own a couple good breakfast spots nearby. You want to go out? Okay, then. How about we both get washed up and change first? Yes, sweetie. We can shower together if you want. Hey, everyone. Amber, Annie, Bill, Johnny, Oh, it's just me and this guy for today. We woke up kind of early and decided for a lazy morning approach. Here, sweetie. This is my favorite spot. How do I know all the stuff? They have name tags, sweetie. <laughs> So, what do you plan to get, sweetie? There's a menu right next to you if you need it. You don't want to spend too... <laughs> Honey, I own this place. We can eat here for free to our heart's content. Well, you can. I'm just going to have my usual here. What's my usual? When I come to this place, my usual is a jam bagel and two eggs over medium with peanut butter toast. There's also my coffee, but I already had it this morning, so I'll skip that for now. Oh, and speaking of which... Good morning, Annie. How are you doing? How's art school? Good, good. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. Anyways, I'll have my usual this morning, minus the coffee. And he'll have... What do you want, sweetie? Mmm. <laughs> Looks like a big breakfast for today. Oh, and Annie... Here, thank you so much for all of your hard work. How much did I tip her? A few hundred bucks. Hmm. You know, on second thought, that doesn't seem like enough for a hard worker such as her. Give me a second. I need to get my checkbook. Pay to Annie for art school and beyond nine hundred thousand. There, 
As much as I love having her, I think she deserves a better life. She's actually a very good artist. I've commissioned a few paintings from her. You know that one of Count Dracula inside my office? That's one of hers. It's almost as tall as I am. How tall am I? Around six foot five. And no, I've never played basketball. <laughs> I was always at least a head taller than everyone else my age growing up, but I had a big growth spurt in my late teens where I went from 5'10 to where I am now. I have to get pretty much all of my clothing custom made, especially with how voluptuous I am. Aww. Thank you very much, honey. I appreciate the compliment. In fact, You've actually really helped me to feel comfortable with my body lately. I used to get shamed and made fun of by peers for my body type and having cellulite. Even though it's a pretty common thing to have, it's been looked down upon by beauty standards and there's this big societal push for people who have it to seek out treatment for it. Laser treatments, lotion... It's all very toxic. That's why one of my goals with my Phoenix brand was to make a beauty brand that was inclusive towards all body types, regardless of size, skin color, gender, disability. I wanted a brand that could represent everyone. So every time you say I look beautiful or sexy, I feel very validated. So thank you. Very much. Oh, looks like our breakfast is here. Thank you very much, Annie. Oh, and one more thing for you. This is a little thank you for all of your help, both at this diner and your art services. I want you to use this to pay off your art school debt and find a place to settle down in, okay? Great. Thank you. Now let's see all that you've got, my sweet boy. A stack of pancakes with butter and syrup, scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage, and a slice of chocolate cake. Are you sure you can eat all this? <laughs> I guess that answers my question. Dig in. I expect someone is going to feel a little tired when they're done with breakfast. You have a question? What is it, sweetie? What my family is like? Well, I have an older sister and a younger brother. My sister is a primary school teacher and my brother does electrical engineering. Both of my parents are retired and living well. They're very energetic considering they're both in their 70s now. Mm, speaking of family, did your folks enjoy their anniversary dinner I set up for them? They're interested in meeting their mysterious benefactor. Well, I'd be happy to invite them over for lunch or dinner someday. Or maybe we could all go out to eat together. I need to thank them personally anyways for raising such a nice young man. Do I have any children? I don't. But I've been pining for one for a while. It's a matter of finding the right partner to raise them with. 
I know that since I'm getting older, I might have to consider other options like surrogacy. Then there's the matter of trying to be the best mother for my children. <clears throat> but we can talk birds and bees some other time. Are you liking your... Wow, you already ate all of your pancakes? I guess you really are hungry. Oh, sweetie, you got some syrup on your mouth. Allow me to get that for you. <laughs> what? You didn't expect that? Come on, sweetie. You know how freaky I can get. Cleaning your face with my tongue is rather tame compared to the other stuff I've done with you. <laughs> now keep eating, sweetie. Mommy needs her good boy to sustain himself. Yes, my food is quite delicious. The jam bagel goes really well with the peanut butter toast. Naturally, I saved the eggs for last. I settled on this as my usual after my second time visiting this diner. That was a few years ago now. By my fifth visit, I knew that this place was too good of an investment for me to pass up. So, I arranged a meeting with the previous owner at this very table and presented him with an $800,000 check for him to give me ownership of this place. And it's all been worth it. Especially because I get to share it with my good boy. Thank you, sweetie. Mommy loves you too. Mommy loves you very much. Sweetie, sweetie, come on, it's time to get up, we have a flight to catch, come on, wake up, there you go, open your eyes for me, hi baby, it's mommy. Mm. Yes, sweetie. I know it's very early, but we have a flight to catch. So please get out of bed. There you go. Big stretches. <laughs> Don't worry, sweetie. We're going to have a great time. I promise it's not another boring business trip. This time, the two of us are going to relax somewhere worthy of our luxury. Now, please check your bag that I had you pack last night. Make sure you've got everything you need. Clothes, toothbrush, video games... I don't want you to forget anything important before we get off. Everything is in there? Good. Let's get down to the limo. It should be ready now. Well, I paid my limo driver extra to come by this early. They even went and picked us up breakfast from IHOP. That way we can eat on the way to the airport. Are you all ready? Great. Take my hand. To the elevator, sweetie. You and mommy are about to go on a really fun adventure. We should reach the airport in a few minutes. 
Thank goodness the traffic is decent right now. I may be worth over a hundred billion dollars and counting, but even I can't buy my way out of a traffic jam. In the meantime, finish eating your breakfast, sweetie. Mommy doesn't want her baby to be hungry. That's why she made sure to get just about everything. Pancakes, bacon, eggs, sausages, french toast. You'll probably want to take a nap on the jet when you finish up. <laughs> you have a question, sweetie? What is it? Ah, uh, that's right. I never got around to telling you what we're doing. Well, we're going on a vacation, honey. Doesn't that sound fantastic? I figure it's about time you got to visit my vacation home. The island that it's on is like heaven and has all kinds of cool places we can visit. A nice, big, beautiful island. There's also a smaller island right next to it that's entirely dedicated to golfing, including frisbee golf, if that's more your thing. On the main island, there's a fun bowling alley, basketball courts, a beautiful beach with sand that looks like powdered sugar. The main island even has a monthly drone display if the weather permits it. It used to be fireworks, but they were retired following an environmental assessment and to be more accommodating to people who are sensitive to loud bangs. Namely, military veterans who have post-traumatic stress. I personally want to take you out on the motorboat so we can go cruising around the island. There's a whole lot of cool rocky formations that we can get close to. And a cove where the two of us can relax without anyone else around to disturb our peace. The island also has ruins of an ancient civilization on it that make for a good tourist attraction. Other activities the island has includes archery, frisbee, table tennis, canoeing, cycling. There's lots for us to do. We can really let ourselves go. What the vacation home is like? It's beautiful. It's tucked away on its own little private island right next to the mainland, so we can only get there by boat. But it's got an infinity pool, sauna, outdoor dining area, and did I mention it's a beach house? We can take nice romantic strolls together, just the two of us. Are you liking your breakfast, sweetie? Good. Granted, it's not our favorite diner place, but it's more than passable since we're in a slight rush, and there's no way I could get breakfast together in time for our flight. Are we flying first class? <laughs> Sweetie. I have my own private jet, remember? I've been looking for an excuse for you to experience it for yourself anyway. Speaking of which, it looks like we've arrived. You see that long jet with the Phoenix logo and death metal artwork on it? That's mine. Er, should I say ours? Thank you, driver. Would you please do us the favor of getting our bags, too? Thank you very much. I'll tip you $100,000 before we leave. What's that, sweetie? You need to use the bathroom? Oh, there's a bathroom on the jet as well as a shower, so you don't have to worry. There's also lots of good food and drinks, as well as Wi-Fi. Right this way, sweetie. 
and we'll take to the skies in just a few minutes. <sighs> you like it, honey? The seats lean back if you need to stretch. Oh, you wish you could cuddle in a bed together? Follow me. I have just what you're looking for. Ta-da! Here's the bedroom suite. And the bathroom's right through that door over there. I even made sure to include the exact same toiletries as the ones we have at home. But you said you wanted to cuddle, so let's do that first. There we go. This is where you belong. Snuggling right on top of mommy. It's times like this where I'm proud to be super tall and... What's that phrase? Dummy thick. <laughs> I do have a question though, sweetie. I've noticed that whenever there's an opportunity for us to... You know... Be together... You always seem to opt for cuddling more so than the more lewd option. Am I right in my assessment? Okay. So... Do you just like cuddling more than sex? It's fine if you do, I just want to understand you a bit more. Cuddling with me makes you feel like everything is all right. Oh, sweetie. I'm very glad that I provide that space for you to relax and just let yourself go because you provide the same thing for me. How? Well, if I tried telling you, I don't think I could ever stop. Then again, we've got a seven hour flight. Do you mind if I ramble? Aww, you think my voice is soothing? Just for that. Anyway, let me think of the ways you make me feel good, besides sex. <laughs> <clears throat> for starters, it's how you always try to be there for me. You're always checking in on how I'm doing or feeling. You can recognize if I'm feeling stressed or sad, and you know exactly how to help me when I feel said ways. You even learned how to give me shoulder and feet rubs, even though I could just pay someone to do that. If I'm feeling overwhelmed and need to vent or cry, you're always there to help me sort through my emotions. You always try to include me in your hobbies, especially gaming. It's because of you I actually learned how to take gaming somewhat seriously. I used to just consider gaming as just another recreational activity, like sports, so I never really understood the hype surrounding them. 
Then, I remember how one day I saw you playing Minecraft on your computer, and I asked if you could teach me how to play it. One thing led to another, and now I'm playing it with you every chance I get. We're getting closer and closer to our goal of beating the Ender Dragon in survival mode on hardcore difficulty. And then, you also introduced me to role-playing games, which are now my favorite genre. To this day, I still can't believe how some RPGs have better stories and characters and narratives than even my most favorite TV shows I've watched in the past. I started out with Dragon Quest XI, and now I'm currently working through The Witcher 3. When I play games like those, I think back to when I was a kid, and I would read books or watch movies and cartoons that were just so good, I'd go to sleep dreaming I could somehow be transported to those worlds and stories. Because of you, sweetie, that dream has sort of come true. So... Thank you. By the way, are there any other RPGs I might like? Maybe something similar to Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy? Chrono Trigger? Alright, I'll put that on my list. Anything I should know? It was created by the same people who made Dragon Quest? And Final Fantasy? Okay, now I'm definitely getting it when I have the chance. I also really like that you started exercising with me. Although that might be because you just like the sight of me in a sports bra and yoga pants. <laughs> not every day you see a 50-inch booty and 40M boobs, after all. You have a question for me, sweetie? Do I actually like being a mommy girlfriend? <laughs> of course I do, sweetie. Being both your mommy type girlfriend and your sugar mommy girlfriend has been nothing but an absolute joy. As I've said before, I've always loved taking care of things. I love being there for you when you need someone at your side. When you need an encouraging word, positive affirmations, cuddles, someone to listen to. I'm always more than eager to do what I can to make you smile and for you to feel safe. Not just with me, but for yourself. I like being there for you when you just need to let it all out. When you just need to bury your face into these big boobs of mine and just cry it out. I like to watch you fall asleep on my thick thighs when I'm watching TV and the story isn't interesting to you. <laughs> I like to pepper your face with kisses when you're in a bad mood until you can't resist the urge to smile anymore. I love being the caring and nurturing figure in your life because it means I get to have you, my dream partner. As long as I get to have you, I'll be your girlfriend, sugar mommy, mommy dommy, whatever it is you need me to be. Whatever it takes for you to be the best version of yourself you can be. <laughs> and you know what a sweet and caring partner like you gets when they're with a billionaire sugar mommy? 
anything they want. Ask and it will be yours. Anything from a glass of water to one of those trips to space. You have something in mind? Name it. NVIDIA? Oh, that's the company that made your computer GPU, right? So, you want me to buy NVIDIA Corporation? It would probably take some time to arrange the deal, but I can do it. Just for you. Of course, I'll probably rebrand it as Phoenix Graphics as a subsidiary under my company, and... Oh. You just want a new card? Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I jumped the gun a little bit. Sure thing, honey. New card it is. <sighs> You're starting to get tired again, aren't you? It's alright, sweetie. You can close your eyes. You still need some more sleep. I'll help you. Just take a deep breath. Close your eyes, drift off into sleep. I am so proud of you. You are safe with me. You are protected. You are cared for. You are loved. Mommy loves you with all her heart. Sweet dreams, my baby. Mommy loves you so much. That was quite the gala this year. The band I booked gave a wonderful performance and everyone was in good spirits. Though I suppose that had to do with all the drinks that were going around. <laughs> oh, by the way, that was a fun idea to get the diners to cater for tonight. There's never a wrong time to consume breakfast food. I myself couldn't help but eat a lot of bacon and eggs. Hmm? Yeah, sweetie. I was serious about what I said during my speech. Effective by the end of the week, I will no longer be CEO of the company. Though I am going to still be majority shareholder. After all, I still need my billions so I can continue being your sugar mommy. <laughs> Why am I resigning? Don't worry, I'll explain my reasons very soon, but I've got to get out of this dress first. To the elevator we go. And we'll just step inside. I promise that the surprise I have in store is a good one, and it's for you, my sweet sugar baby partner. Mm. 
Now to the bedroom. Okay, now that we're here, could you unzip for me, please? I can't reach all the way back there. <sighs> Thank you very much, sweetie. It's one of my favorites, but it starts to feel tight after a while. Especially on these enormous hips in dump truck of mine. <laughs> Aw, I'm very glad you think I look sexy in it, sweetie. I did wear it for you, after all. I'd do anything to make you happy. In fact, that brings us to the reason why I decided to step down as head of Phoenix. I really need to hug you, though. Come here. Mm. I love holding you like this. Even if you get a face full of my boobs each time. <laughs> okay, I'll explain everything right now, but give me a sec. Sweetie, I... I love you. So much. These past few years with you have been the absolute best of my life. You are everything that I could have asked for in a partner and more. When I divorced my abusive ex-husband, I thought that was the end of my love life. There I was, a plus-sized woman in her mid-thirties. Every time I went out on a date, I was too fat or too old or too intimidating because I'm six foot five. The only people I really knew were from the business and beauty world, so I didn't really have any friends I could turn to for support. I was alone. And so fucking lonely. I never told you this, but the night before I met you, I was so dejected that I was literally sobbing into my pillow. I was thinking to myself, is there anyone out there who won't judge my appearance? Is there anyone who would be with someone like me and not treat me like a piece of shit. <clears throat> then, once you came into my life the following night and you became my sugar baby, that was actually the night I fell in love with you. And after a few months of that arrangement, I finally worked up the courage to ask you out. Ever since then, you've been nothing but the sweetest, kindest, and most thoughtful person I've ever met. You have never once insulted me or even put me down in a joking manner. You've been there for me when I need to vent cry, be angry, or just need someone to talk to. I can't imagine my life without you anymore. That brings us to the reason why I announced my intent to resign as CEO at the gala tonight. I've loved building up what started as a little beauty project into the luxury goods powerhouse it is today. But after nearly 20 years as both the founder and head of the brand, 
It's time for me to take a step back and focus all my time and energy on something I've been wanting to do for a while now. On the person who is going to be my highest priority in life going forward. I can't imagine my life without you. And... I don't want to have to imagine anymore. Sweetie, will you marry me? You will? Oh my goodness, thank you, thank you. I love you, sweetie. I love you, I love you, I love you. Mm. Oh, uh, <clears throat> what is it, sweetie? <laughs> sweetie. Just because you're gonna be my spouse doesn't mean I'm gonna stop being your sugar mommy. Heck, I'm probably gonna spoil you even harder now that you're mine. If you want, I can still be your mommy. I've kind of grown attached to the label. <laughs> Great. Mm -hmm. Sweetie, I, um, I have a small request of my own. I've had a big wedding before, and it honestly wasn't for me. And though I very much love my family, I really just want to celebrate our union together. In other words... I'd like our wedding to just be the two of us and the officiant. Thank you for understanding, sweetie. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I don't have a ring yet. You don't mind as long as you have me? Aww. How about some mommy cuddles as a thank you? All right. Any ideas on where to go for our honeymoon? Or what we should do? Remember, anything you want. Good idea. I'm looking forward to it. Mm. This is going to be amazing. No more remote business meetings. No more long phone calls with investors. I'm dedicating my life to making you happy and growing our family. But I will make you a promise, sweetie. No matter how big our family gets, pets or children or whatever, I will always make time for you. Your well-being is my number one priority because you deserve someone who loves you. Oh, sweetie, why are you crying? Was it something I said? Oh, it's just happy tears? Okay, good. I don't ever want to upset you. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetie. Your face is just so adorable. I can't stop kissing you. Mm. 
I'm so happy that I get to do this all I want from now on. My dream has finally come true. No more boring remote meetings. No more paperwork. No more phone calls with clients and subordinates. Just me and my baby. I get to do my most favorite thing in the world. Be the comforting presence for the person I love. What do I mean exactly? Well, I know that your mental health isn't always in the best shape. And I know what it's like when no one really cares for you and you're all alone and have to face the world by yourself. I don't want you to go through that. I want to be the nurturing presence you need. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've more or less picked up on what exactly it is I do that either comforts or distresses you, and I've adjusted my behavior to accommodate for that. For example, I know that me raising my voice for whatever reason alarms you, so I've been working on that. I also know exactly when you don't want to talk about what you're feeling and you just need to hold on to me silently for a while. And now that I'm retired, I can finally devote all my time to being the best partner for you. I just... I don't ever want you to feel alone ever again. I'll always love you, even if no one else does. I'll always be by your side, ready to hold you in my arms, ready to give you cuddles, ready to kiss you. You think I smell good? Thank you, baby. I know you like it when I wear lemon-scented perfume. I totally understand the appeal. It smells exactly like Pledge Furniture Polish. <laughs> oh, speaking of furniture... I think an early consummation is in order. You just hold still. Mommy's doing all the work tonight. Sweetie? Honey? Where are you? Oh, there you are. I was wondering where you went. And you're just here, playing with the baby. How sweet. She really loves what you do with the toy giraffe. It looks like she's ready for nap time. Here, let me get her. I'll take her to her crib. Hi there, pumpkin. It's mama. Come with me, baby. You look like you need a nice, long nap. Well, she's out like a light right now. <laughs> All it takes is for me to hum to her and she just... Zoop. <laughs> Speaking of sleep, you're looking pretty tired yourself, honey. You look like you could use a nap yourself. You don't want to take up my time? Oh, sweetie, you don't have to worry about that anymore, remember? 
I'm done being CEO. Now I can just stay at home with you and my daughter and live off of my billions from my stake in Phoenix Brands. So come on, sweetie. Come here on the couch and lay on mommy's lap. That always relaxes you. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> Do you remember how my boobs used to be so big that I could just barely see your face when you laid down like this? Well, now that I'm a mom with a hungry baby, they're so big I can't even see your face at all. <laughs> Uh, are you starting to feel more relaxed? Good. You really deserve it. You've needed a break for a long while. You're such a good husband. I really mean it, too. You were so supportive and caring for me throughout my pregnancy, which was rough due to my age. You helped me get through morning sickness, you went to every single one of my appointments, and you were always offering to give me massages whenever I showed the slightest amount of discomfort. You even read like a hundred books and watched multiple YouTube videos on parenting just so you could prepare yourself. One thing I especially appreciated, you never once were put off by my mood swings. Even if I ended up snapping at you when you didn't deserve it, or would just start crying for no reason at all. And ever since she was born, you've been the perfect father to our baby. You play with her, and diaper her, and swaddle her without even a second thought. And you're the first one off your feet if you hear her crying in her room. I am so, so proud of you, my love. You can rest for now. Shh. It's okay, sweetie. Let it all out. Everyone needs a good cry now and then. And you've been doing so much lately. I might have told you this before, sweetie. But the night when we first met, that was when I fell in love with you. I actually whispered it to you as you fell asleep in my arms for the first time ever. I know that that might have been a bit premature, but I just knew you were everything I was looking for in a partner. You're kind, supportive, understanding, and always looking to cheer me up when I need it. And you also know the difference between when I need advice or just someone to listen to. I love you so much, my baby. But you definitely need a break. So, I'm going to arrange for the two of us to go on a little weekend getaway. Just to refresh and reset ourselves. And I'll pay for a nanny to watch our daughter while we're gone. I think ten million dollars will get us a good nanny, don't you think? Or maybe fifty? Any ideas on where you want to go? We can go anywhere we want. You can have anything you want to help you relax. Someplace quiet? That can be easily arranged, sweetie. 
Sounds like a nice change of pace is exactly what you need. Your well-being and safety is my number one priority, honey. It's part of me being your mommy type partner. It's why I make sure you get all the food and drink you need for yourself. It's why I hold you close to me whenever I can. It's why I buy you whatever you want. Remember the first time I celebrated your birthday with you? I took you to all your favorite stores. I had you point to whatever it is you wanted and I bought it for you. And then we had dinner on the rooftop of the finest Vietnamese restaurant in the city, which I actually bought the day before just so we could have the perfect birthday dinner. Then to end the night, we went home and I finally gave you your birthday cake and let you blow out the candles. You told me it was the best birthday you've ever had. And that was just that one birthday. I've celebrated and enjoyed so many things with you, baby. Birthdays, holidays, vacations, shopping sprees, movies, esports. We've been living life to the fullest, haven't we? Why? Because I love you, sweetie. Why wouldn't I love you? What did you just say? Did you just say you're not good enough for me? Do you not remember my ground rules? I do not ever want to hear you talk shit about the most important person in my life. Understood? Good. Because that is what you are. You are my number one priority, sweetie. You're my good boy. A good boy that deserves all the protection I provide for him. Yes. Mommy is very protective of you. That's why I always try to be close to you as much as possible. Especially when we're in bed together. <laughs> I know life has been hard on you in the past. That's why my first priority when I became your sugar mommy was to make sure you were safe. I'd make sure to call you at least once a day, and I always had my phone alert me loudly whenever you texted me. And any time you told me you wanted to see me, I would immediately drop whatever it was I was doing and come to see you. Ever since we became official and you moved in with me, I don't have to worry as much anymore because I get to hold you close to me when we go to bed at night and have you wake up in my arms every morning. I get to say, wake up, sweetie, and give you a gentle forehead kiss to start your day. I get to make you smile and cheer you up when you need it, like right now. I also make sure that you're satisfied with everything I provide for you. Remember when we ate out one night at one of the restaurants I own and we ordered chocolate chip cookies for dessert? You pointed out to me that your cookies had barely any chocolate chips in them while mine had plenty. I was very displeased. My good boy deserves only the best to eat and drink so I went to the chefs and told them that from that moment on, they were required to put an equal amount of chocolate chips in each cookie they made. Yes, I really did. 
and I instituted that rule to all of the restaurants I own. Whatever the food is, chocolate chip cookies, blueberry muffins, peanut butter cookies, chocolate chip pancakes, blueberry pancakes, you order any of those types of foods at my restaurants and you'll never be skimped. And in order to ensure you are satisfied with everything you eat and drink, I learned how to cook all of your favorite meals. You like mommy's cooking very much, don't you? Good. That makes mommy happy to hear. I can see that you're drifting off to sleep. Go ahead, baby. Sleep for me. You need it. You deserve it. For me, this is what it means to be your mommy. This is mommy's favorite way for her to show you just how much she loves you. I will always love you, my sweet baby. I will always hold you close. I will always keep you safe. I will always protect you. I will always pamper you. I will always give you anything you want. I will always do anything you want. Whatever you want. Whenever you want. Anywhere you want. I won't let anyone hurt you anymore. I won't let anything hurt you anymore. Because I love you. My soulmate. My spouse. And most important of all, mommy's sweet sugar baby. Thank you so much for everything. Mommy loves you so much, sweetie. Sweet dreams, my baby boy. <laughs>